Welcome to Intermath, friends. Uh, this is grade 10, lesson 1. We're talking about system of linear equations with two unknowns. You have two linear equations, a1x plus b1y equals c1, a2x plus b2y equals c2. You are considering the two equations at the same time. a, b, and c in both equations are just numbers and x and y are the unknowns that you're solving for. To solve the system of two linear equations with two unknowns means to determine the values of the unknowns that satisfy both linear equations in the system or show that the solution does not exist. The so system solution is the point of intersection of the two lines if two lines are parallel, the system will have no solutions because the lines will not be intersecting. There are three different ways of solving uh, the system of two linear equations. The first one is graphically. Graph each line uh, given its equation in the system um, express y in terms of x uh, so that you have the y equals mx plus b form. Locate the point of intersection of the two lines and state its coordinates. So given this system, let's first convert each one of these equations into y equals mx plus b form. So equation number one, we have x plus 2y equals 7. Then from here, 2y equals negative x plus 7. And then all over 2, y equals negative 1 half x plus 7 over 2, or 3 and a half. The second one, We'll follow the same process and we will get y equals negative 3x plus 1. So we have two equations, this one and that one, and we can graph them. Just graph them on the Cartesian plane or you can use the graphing calculator and find the point of intersection of the two lines. So remember that this point and this point here are the y-intercepts and then this number and this number here, the coefficients of x, represent the slope. If the slope is negative, then the line is going down from left to right. This is how much you go down and over, down and over. So one down, two over, three down, one over. Another method of solving uh, the system of two linear equations is substitution. You rearrange one of the equations to isolate for either x or y, whatever is more convenient. Then substitute the expression representing the isolated variable into the second equation for the same variable. Then you end up with an equation with only one unknown. Solve that equation get the value of the unknown and sub it back into the other equation to find the other unknown. State the answer as a point of intersection with the coordinates x, y. So let's solve this system of equations using the substitution method. The first equation is x plus 2y equals 7. The second equation is 3x plus y equals 1. I will isolate for x in the first equation. So in the first equation, I'm doing x equals negative 2y plus 7. And then this expression is what I'm substituting into the second equation for x. So 3 times negative 2y plus 7 because it represents the x negative 2y plus 7 plus y equals 1. Now I need to simplify it and solve for y. So then here I'll get negative 6y plus 
21 plus y equals 1. I will collect like terms, rearrange my equation to isolate for y. So then here I'll get negative 5y equals negative 20, y equals 4. So I found the value of y. Now I will take this y and sub it into this equation that's already isolated for x. So 1 x equals negative 2 times 4 plus 7 x equals negative 8 plus 7 x equals negative 1. So the point of intersection of these two lines is negative 1, 4. Make sure you do it in the correct order. x comes first, y comes second. The solution of this system is the point of intersection of negative 1, 4, which satisfies the equations of both of these lines. If I were to graph these two lines, they would intersect at a point negative 1, 4. The last method of solving the system of two linear equations is elimination. Elimination means you're adding or subtracting two equations to um, ensure that one of the variables um, cancels. So um, in this case, I can either add or subtract one of the equations um, from the other. And I can also multiply both equations by something in order to make sure that the coefficients of the variables that I want to get rid of um, are the same. So since um, I have two equations where none of the coefficients are the same for x or for y, I need to make them the same. So I will multiply the top equation Let's label this equation 1, this equation 2. So I will multiply 1 by 3. I want to make sure that the coefficients of x are the same. So then if I multiply 1 by 3, I will get 3x, but I need to multiply every part of my equation by this number so that the balance of the equation is not changed. It has to be an equivalent equation. So plus 6y equals 21. The other equation remains the same. 3x plus y equals 1. This is my number 1. This is my number 2. Now, since both of these uh, variables and coefficients have the same sign, I cannot cancel them out. I need to subtract them in order to get rid of them. If one of them was negative, the other one was positive, then I would add them because they are already opposites. So in this case, I'm subtracting the two equations. Then I end up with this gone then 6y subtract y is 5y equals 20. So then I'll continue here. y equals 4. Next, I'm going to take this y and sub it back into one of the equations. The point of intersection satisfies both equations, so it does not matter which one you're subbing in uh, into. So then I'll take the first one, for example, and solve for x. x plus 2 times 4 equals 7. x equals negative 8 plus 7. x equals negative 1. And then the point of intersection is negative 1, 4. You could have three different situations 
uh, in terms of the number of solutions that you might get when you're solving a system of two linear equations. One solution is when two lines intersect with each other. You could have perpendicular lines intersecting at 90 degrees. No solutions. Two lines are parallel. They have the same slope. Infinitely many solutions. Two lines overlap. They coincide completely. One line is on top of the other line. They essentially are the same line. They have infinitely many solutions. Of course, we're using the system uh, systems of uh, linear equations to solve real life problems. For example, this one. How do we do that? We follow a certain um, algorithm, the same steps every time, introduce the variables and create the system of equations, solve the system of equations, go back to the question of the, pro of the problem and answer that very question. Two notepads and three boxes of pencils cost $18. Three notepads and two boxes of pencils cost $17. What is the total cost of five notepads and seven boxes of pencils? So let notepads be x. Let pencils B Y so two notepads 2 X and three boxes of pencils plus 3 Y cost $18 equal 18 three notepads 3x plus 2 boxes of pencils plus 2y equals $17. So, I need to find the price for one box of pencils and one notepad. I need to solve the system of equations. In order for me to solve this system, I need to multiply both equations by something in order to first make one of one set of coefficients the same. So for example, I want to make the coefficient of x the same. So I'll multiply this equation by three, this equation by two. So then we'll get one being 6x plus 9y equals 54 and then equation number two, 6x plus 4y equals 34. Now, since both uh, terms are positive, I need to subtract the two equations and get um, 5y equals 20, then y equals 4. So 4 is the price for one box of pencils. Then how much does one notepad cost? So we'll have to take this value of y and sub it into one of the equations here to solve for x. For example, if we do it with number one, then we'll get 2x plus 3 times 4 equals 18. 
and then we'll get 2x plus 12 equals 18 and then 2x equals 6 x equals 3 this is the price of one notepad therefore in order to find the cost of five notepads we need to multiply 5 by 3 so $15 and the price of seven boxes of pencils we need to multiply 7 by 4 which gives us 28 28 dollars and there you go